Hey, this is the Raw Traveler here again. As I promised, I wanted to do a video on a website called points.com. Now here's uh, the front page of the points.com website. Now I'm going to scroll down a little bit to a point where it says the supported programs. These are the airline programs and the hotel programs and the shopping programs that points.com supports. Now the list is not as big as the as the Ward Wallet. A Ward Wallet does a similar thing to they do to what they do here at points.com. The only thing is that a Ward Wallet you cannot uh, you cannot exchange points or or miles between programs with points.com certain programs can be exchanged with each other and there's a chart here and the the chart will show a check mark for those that can be redeemed or exchanged uh, with each other and I'll show you on the inside of the when you get logged in it's very easy to begin uh, become a, a member of points.com it's free you just click on join and your member then you just keep adding your different programs now of course they points.com will have access to all your login information they'll have your account numbers and your passwords but I've had an account with them for many many years and I've never had any problems there was never anybody finding uh, getting a hold of my account or anything like that so uh, I, I'm not concerned about that at all and uh, in a few minutes I'll show you what it looks like once you're logged in Hold on. now I've logged in and this is what your account looks like on the inside uh, there are several things you can do uh, with your points and your miles one of them is trading them there's something there's something like uh, you call it a global marketplace or whatever where you can actually put out a trade offer somebody a trade for a certain amount of for example if you have American Airlines miles and you have 10,000 of them and you want to trade that for 10,000 Delta miles for example Delta sky miles you can actually create a trade and put it out there and if somebody's interested in that trade they'll take it the only thing is when someone takes that trade I believe they have to pay a certain fee and you have to pay a certain fee and they'll tell you what the fee is and that fee is usually a pretty high fee so generally speaking that's not a good idea to do that because that is an expensive proposition it's not a good deal but a case once like once in a while if you need a certain number of miles and you have a, a stack like you might have uh, received miles from a promotion or something like 5,000 or 10,000 and you say you know that you're never going to use those miles again and they're just sitting in your account for a long time and you you know that airlines is not one of your favorites or it's you know it's just one of those airlines that you're just never going to accumulate more miles in but you can take those miles instead of just having them sit there forever and have offer somebody to uh, trade them for an, another amount of miles that you think is fair uh, in a different program that you actually will use so that works both ways. You can offer someone miles uh, for a trade, or you can take somebody else who made a trade out there and accept that trade. So there's both. You can go in there and look at those different trades. Uh, there's another option <coughs> where you can actually exchange between your own programs, and there's it's kind of limited. There's not too many programs that will allow you to exchange, but you can go there and check it out and the third option is to exchange your miles from certain programs 
for things like gift cards and that's what I'm showing now on the screen these are the the gift cards that they offer for example here is a page of gift cards that you can get uh, different valuations of gift cards like $25, $50 or so on uh, here I clicked on the first one the 76 which is a gasoline station in the United States it says, it says USA only some of them are for the US residents only I uh, believe there are others that will allow you to uh, get them in other countries so there, there's a, in a nutshell, points.com. It's a pretty good program if you can use it. And I'll be seeing you on board real soon. Take care.